Seventh grade, lesson 12. This is on problems about comparing and elapsed time. Okay? So this first one, we're going to talk about comparing. So the last lesson was on combining and separating. Yep. This one's on comparing. Okay? And when you're talking about comparing, here's what you'll hear. Okay? You'll hear what terms like this. How much greater is da 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 da? Or how much less is da 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 da? For example, during the day, 13, sorry, 1,320 employees work at the toy factory. At night, 897 employees work there. How many more employees work at the factory during the night, during the day, than the night. So did you hear that? How many more employees work? <coughs> so when you're hearing how many more or how many less, you know that you're talking about a comparing problem. Okay? And when you're talking about comparing problems, this is the equation you're going to use. Larger number minus the smaller number equals the difference. Okay, and a lot of people like a lot of people like to put L minus S equals D. You know that's fine. That just means larger minus smaller equals the difference. Okay, so let's use this equation for this word problem. During the day, one thousand three hundred twenty employees work at the toy factory. This is during the day. Okay. Then it says at night. 897 at work at night. Then it says, how many more employees work at the factory during the day than at night? Well, you heard this, how many more? So you're going to take these two numbers and put them in this equation. Which one is the larger? Uh, 1320. 1320. Okay. 1320. Which one is the smaller? Uh, 897. Very good. So it's pretty much that simple. 1320 minus 897. So if I were to perform that problem, I would get 423. So the answer to this problem is there were 423 more employees during the day than at night. Understand? Yep. Okay, pretty simple. Try this one. The number 620,000 is how much less, did you hear the word? How much less, less, which means we're going to be using this equation, is how much less than one million. Okay, that's the equation. So how do I answer this equation? The larger number, which is? One million. One million. And the smaller number, which is? 620,000. Very good. And the difference would be, I'm just going to go ahead and write it, 380,000. Okay? So, you see how we do this? I would actually subtract these two and get my answer. All right? So, that is when we're working with problems about comparing. So, the way that I the best hear that is when you're hearing a word problem that says how much more or how much less, you know this is the pattern you're going to use or this is the equation you're going to use. Okay? All right, now let's talk about something called elapsed time. Okay? And elapsed time has to do with time, usually dates, um, like 1967, um, different things like that. Okay? So, listen to this. All right? Let's find your birth age right now. How old are you? Okay, now you know how old you are, okay? But... Let's go and figure out using elapsed time, okay? And when working with elapsed time, you want to do this. Later minus earlier equals the difference. So L minus E equals D, okay? Whenever you're working with time, this is the pattern you're going to use, Isaac. This is the equation you're going to use, okay? You're going to take the later year, Okay, which is the year we're in right now. So what year are we in? 2014. 2014. Minus what's the earlier, which is the day you were born. Okay, or the, I'm sorry, not the day, the year you were born. 2001. 
2001? One. One. You're exactly right. So, if we were trying to figure out how old you are, we would take 2014 minus 2001, and you would end up getting 13, okay? Which tells us how old you are today, all right? Let's try this. Listen to this problem. How many years were there? So, you heard years, so you knew it was about time, elapsed time. How many years were there from 1492 to 1776? How many years went by from this to this? So again, you take the larger or the later year, 1776, minus the earlier year, 1492, and we would end up getting 284. So there were 284 years from here to here. Okay? You get it? Yep. All right. Let's figure out how old Dark. Um, have you heard of Martin Luther King Jr.? Okay. Yep. He died in 1968, and he was the age 39. Now, this one's a little bit trickier. Born in 1968, and he was 39 years old. Now, remember how you did it a while ago. We did 2014 he, minus 2000 equals 13. He was born in 68? He was born in 1960. No, no, no. He died That's what I thought. in 1968. What year was he born? So we're going to put an L, B for born, or you can put an L there. Minus 1968 equals 39. So that's when that helps you by putting it in the same pattern that you did when you were finding out your birthday. Yeah. You know that? So what year was he born? 1929. 1929. Very good. Okay? So, he did that by going 1968 minus 39. And he discovered that it was 1929. So, he was born in 1929. Oops, I put that on. What? 1968. Okay? And then what, what year was he born in? 1929. And then when we figure that out, does it equal 39? Yes, yep. it does. Okay? That is lesson 12.